guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be finally filming how I cured my cystic acne. For those of you who don't know me personally or don't follow me on Instagram, I used to have really, really bad acne during high school and a little bit after high school. And it was such a struggle for me. I was so self-conscious about it. I was so embarrassed about it. For those of you that have acne, it's a terrible thing. It lowers your self-esteem down so much. That's all you can think about. That's all you think people can like see. Yeah, so I'll be sharing my story of my acne transformation and how I cured it. And I'll also be including products that I use today. And yeah, let's get into it. Around five years ago, summer of 2012, so I was in grade nine, I started to get lots and lots of little pimples around my forehead and a little bit on my cheek area but I was just starting high school so I was really really concerned about it so I went to the doctor and the doctor automatically put me on birth control and this other acne medication I forgot what it was called so I was put on that acne medication and the birth control for three months and it did clear up my acne I was completely acne free for about three months and then it came back way worse than ever this is when it started to become cystic. For those of you who don't know what cystic acne is, I'll put a picture of what my skin looked like. And this picture is when it was clearing up, unfortunately. It used to be so much worse. I just completely hid it under makeup. I didn't take any pictures of it because I was so embarrassed of it. So it got way worse in the summer of that month, I think during grade 10. So I went back to my doctor and he put me on Accutane. And for those of you who don't know what Accutane is, it's a huge acne medication and it has so many side effects, but I was on one of the lower doses of that and I was again on the cycle for three months. And again, it cleared my acne up. I was acne free for probably like five months this time, but then again, it came back way worse. I was kind of sick at this point of going to my doctor and getting prescribed all this medication. This is also the time that I went mostly vegan. So it did clear up my skin a little bit. So yeah, I was kind of sick of the doctor, going to the doctor at this point. I was sick of getting prescribed all this medication and it only working for three months and then getting way worse. So I came across Nina and Randa's YouTube channel and they had acne quite similar to mine and they cured it by eating a whole foods plant-based diet with no oils and no fats and i thought i might as well try this lifestyle out just because this was my last option i was eating mostly vegan already so it wasn't too hard for me but i decided to take the huge transition of switching completely over and not cooking with oils and reducing my fat intake. So that means I don't cook with olive oil, I don't cook with coconut oil, I don't bake with any oils, and I reduced my fat intake. So at the point of when I was clearing my acne, I was only eating probably like half an avocado a day or one tablespoon of peanut butter or like a nut butter. And my acne cleared up within a month, not even. It was crazy how quick and fast it was. I've been acne free since switching to this lifestyle. During one summer I slipped up and wasn't eating the best and it really um, showed on my skin. I started to get more pimples and that really shows how your diet can affect your skin and I never really thought of that. I was going to the doctor for like years getting prescribed medication after medication and nothing working long term. This diet literally works long term. I've stuck to this diet and obviously I have cheat meals, obviously I go out and eat oil, obviously I, some days I eat more fats than other days, but if you're consistent with this lifestyle, it will change your skin for the better, I promise. To cure your skin using diet, definitely reduce your fat intake, don't cook with oils. Instead of cooking with oils, you can get non-stick pans, which help a lot. Also, you can put a little bit of water in your vegetables when you're frying it to reduce sticking, and that should help a lot. I eat a starch-based diet. My diet consists of beans, rice, potatoes, oats, all that good stuff. And yeah, now I'm gonna show you the products I use at the moment. Oh yeah, just a disclaimer, my skin is um, combination skin. It's not oily at all. It's more on the dry side. So yeah, while I was curing my acne, I didn't use any cleanser, I didn't use any face products just because when I was on all the medication I was using all those acne prone uh, face washes like Murad, uh, Cetaphil, all that sort of stuff and it's literally filled with chemicals. It's not going to clear your skin 
Um, it's just gonna make it way worse. It might clear it for a little bit, but it's not gonna work long term. So I decided to cut out all of my cleansers, all of my face products. The only thing I used was makeup removing wipes whenever I had makeup on, which was only like once or twice a week. And these are the makeup removing wipes I use. They're from Costco and you can buy them in bulk. They're good for sensitive skin. When I was carrying my acne, I used these makeup removing wipes and that's the only thing I used. I used this and hot water and that worked for me. So yeah, now that my skin has cleared up, I have incorporated more products into my skincare routine. So obviously, I, whenever I have makeup on, I use the same makeup removing wipes from Costco to get all the makeup off. After that, I use this cleanser. It's Dr. Bronner's and I use the tea tree one just because tea tree is good for blemishes all that sort of stuff and this stuff is so good you only need like one or two drops this has lasted me so long all of these products are cruelty free but yeah this is literally my favorite thing ever my skin feels so clean and refreshed after using this. I've never had any problems with breakouts using this. The ingredients are good. Overall, really good product. And just recently, now that the weather is getting colder, my skin gets extremely dry. So I got this moisturizer. Yeah, and it's oil-free, which I really like. It's so lightweight, it doesn't clog your pores or anything. Yeah. I really love this. And I recently got this product sent to me. It's a matcha mask. And usually every single mask that I've used makes me break out right after it. It makes my skin dry. I don't really like using masks just because of that reason. But the ingredients in this are so clean. It's literally water, matcha powder, aloe vera extract, xanth gum, menthol, coconut oil, and a little bit more, but it's so clean. I love this mask. It makes my skin feel so soft and smooth after using it. You want to smell? It smells so nice, and I love how it's actually green. You want to use it, Nola? <laughs> This is the only mask I'm probably ever going to use, and I love it so much. I also have a discount code for this company if you want to buy anything. They have amazing products. I also got sent the tea, and it's amazing. I love it. But yeah, I'll leave the discount code down below. Go check them out. They're amazing. I recently just got this product. I've only used it once for this disgusting pimple that I just got and it's basically a drying lotion so it just dries your pimples out if you have any breakouts I can't really tell you what I think of it because I just got it but I've heard really good things about it those are all the products that I use on my skin other tips is to clean your bed at least once a week I clean it twice a week because I have a mucky puppy but yeah make sure your sheets are clean make sure your pillowcases are clean drink lots of water I also reduced my caffeine intake and I found that helped a lot. Coffee was definitely breaking me out. It makes me stressed out. So cut your caffeine intake out. So yeah, just to summarize, diet is the number one thing that cured my acne. Reducing my fat intake and cutting out all oils while cooking helped tremendously. That's my number one tip for you guys. Drink lots of water, reduce your caffeine, make sure your sheets are clean use clean products and yeah that's all i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this and i really hope it helped you guys out if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below or dm me on instagram but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one